Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Lenovo V130 solid state drive, hard drive, RAM and also you're going to see how the battery looks like, how the Wi-Fi card looks like and how the motherboard looks like. From here on all you have to do is remove all the screws on the back panel. It's not going to take you more than let's say 3-4 minutes. I'm going to speed things up from here on just a bit now, otherwise it's going to be super boring if it's not already. <laughs> and once you have these screws removed, uh, you can remove the DVD drive and there's also two little screws under that. Uh, I'm pointing them out there. You're going to have to remove them also. And once they are removed, uh, you can remove the back panel itself. It comes off easy enough, luckily. Still though, take your time, don't rush I suppose, don't pull it off, just kind of use a bit of force if needed. It comes off handy enough as I said. And there we are, that's how your laptop now looks inside. I'm gonna show you a closer look now on all the components. There's your battery. I'm going to leave the battery serial number in the description. So if, if you are looking for new batteries, it's going to be easier for you. And on the left of that, there's a 2.5 inch hard drive caddy. There's no hard drive in it at the moment because I bought that laptop without it. There's your Wi-Fi card and uh, on the right from Wi-Fi card, there's a BIOS battery. There's your fan. Not your one, of course, laptops. And there's a M2 solid state drive slot, which we're gonna fill in a minute. And before you start actually upgrading anything or taking anything off at all, I recommend you to disconnect your battery. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how the RAM looks like. There's only one RAM slot, by the way, so. There's a four gigs of RAM in it, in total eight gigs, because four gigs are soldered already to the motherboard. So if you are upgrading, you need eight gigs or 16 gigs of, uh, of RAM extra. Okay, I'm gonna put that back now because I'm not gonna upgrade the RAM. There's eight gigs in total, so it's enough for me at the moment. and we're gonna upgrade now solid state drive or put one in because i put that without storage at all so i'm gonna install 128 gigs of uh, sandisk solid state drive you can of course choose the bigger one i only had on 128 gigs because i'm gonna install for storage just 500 gigs normal hard drive normal 2.5 inch hard drive so 128 gigs for windows is enough for me Okay, solid state drive is in the place. Oh, there's your 2.5 inch hard drive. There's nothing in it at the moment. Disconnect that. Remove four screws. What's holding the caddy in it. Of course, you don't have to install normal hard drive there. You can install also solid state drive, 2.5 inch solid state solid state drive of course you can see there's a bit of a soft stuff there in it and there's a four screws in it as well you have to remove them you have to keep them these are the screws what's gonna hold your new hard drive in that caddy it's actually pretty thoughtful from Lenovo to have that type of setup there so it's going to be easier to upgrade. And here is the drive for storage. I'm going to use 500 gigabyte Western Digital. Nothing special, but it will do for just for files. Because 128 gig solid state drive will be just for Windows to run the programs and so on. So this is only for 
kind of um, maybe movies and music and just some word documents and just file storage basically okay you can now put that hard drive into that caddy and use these four screws what were in it Okay, you can put that back now. And you can put these four screws now back again, screw them back in. And also, don't, don't, don't go too mad now when you screw them back in. There's no need to put too much pressure in them. Okay, once these screws are back in, you can connect your drive now to the motherboard. And before you close your laptop now, <laughs> connect your battery again. I made that mistake many times, I had to open it again and then connect it again, so it's e easier to connect it than the first time. And that's pretty much it. As for upgrades, you can close your back panel now and screw in all the screws again within your back, your DVD drive. And actually there's going to be a nice performance boost now. I'm going to show you how long it takes to boot up the laptop and show you the actual hard drives in the system as well. Of course, when you are installing the new hard drives, you need to obviously install new windows on it. So there you go. Okay, I'm gonna boot the laptop up. We're gonna see how long it takes. It's gonna be 13, 14 seconds which is not bad okay that was 13 seconds P pretty decent time you don't have to wait for too long and i'm gonna show you now the two drives are in the system okay there's your solid state drive now with the windows in it and there's your storage drive with 500 gigs so pretty decent and this laptop is actually pretty nice it runs nice and smooth i have to say I'll, i'm gonna go just to device manager for a second and show you just a few specs of it there's a two disk drives display adapter which is normal intel hd 620 dvd drive and your processor and of course there's a webcam as well so that's it guys hopefully this was helpful for someone who's thinking to upgrade the laptop at least you have some reference and you know what if you like the video subscribe and have a good life bye bye